Sup dude, Chet Holmgren is a 7 foot, 190 pound shot blocking Slim Jim. Coming out of high school, he was the number one ranked prospect on ESPN for the class of 2021. In high school, he absolutely dominated, averaging 21 points, 13 rebounds, 5 blocks, and 4 assists. Those stats earned him around 30 D1 offers going into his junior year. He committed to Gonzaga where he averaged 14 points on 60% shooting, 10 rebounds, and almost 4 blocks a game. His length coupled with his skill made him highly sought after in the NBA draft, projected to be without a doubt a top three pick. And as we all know, the Thunder selected him with the second pick, just to be paired with the other fucking mutant. Right away, people were giving Chet shit for being skinny and saying, oh, he won't make it in the league. He got no muscle on him. Personally, I don't see that as a very big issue because he's 20 years old. He's one year removed from college, and I think an NBA staff can add some muscle onto him if needed. Like fuck, Kevin Durant came in the league weighing like 95 pounds, and look at him now. Personally, I believe Chet is going to be a superstar because of his very unique skill set. The dude is a 7 footer who can do pretty much everything you can think of. He's the fantasy player that every little kid makes on 2K. The guy who's 7 foot 6, fucking can shoot, dribble, all that. He's that motherfucker. It's really rare that you find a player like Chet. Although next year there is a guy who's kind of exactly like Chet, but that's next year and he's probably gonna go number one overall So like you get my point the tall lanky skilled motherfuckers are taking over the league in the summer league Chet exceeded expectations He broke the summer league block record in his first game with six blocks while also putting up 23 points on seven for nine shooting Overall he averaged 14 points eight rebounds and close to three blocks his averages were great But when you add that to the fact that he was really a efficient and makes it even more impressive. His splits were 48, 42, 94, making him only 2% off of the 50, 40, 90 club. While it was only a couple games, I think that that's a really good sign for Thunder fans. Chet's ability to put the ball on the floor and create his own shot is the most impressive skill I've seen from him. In the NBA currently, there's not many Goliaths that have guard-like skill, but for the few big guys that can dribble, create their own shot, and do all that, it has been proven to be very effective. After after Chet's first summer league game, he <coughs> fuck. After Chet's first summer league game, he was given a post-game interview and wouldn't do it unless he had a teammate with him. I thought that was very sweet. I'm kidding. But this shows that the dude is a good dude. And every NBA team needs a good dude. If you get a cocky piece of shit who only cares about themselves, your locker room is gonna be a fucking dumpster fire. Alright, I've only talked highly about Chet so far, so now I'm gonna talk about his negatives. There are two negatives so far that I've found in my thorough research. The first negative, of course, is his weight. Kenny Lofton Jr. moved Chet like he was a fucking leaf sure kenny lofton jr is 276 pounds and built like snorlax but right now that's gonna be a big problem for chet chet plays center and there's a bunch of other dudes who weigh just as much and are just as strong so currently in the present in chet's rookie year I think his weight is going to be a big problem. But like I said earlier, I don't think it's going to be a big problem in the future. The Thunder weight training staff, I'm sure, will make him real big and strong. The second negative I found was his stamina. I read in an article that Chet was fatigued while the Thunder played their three games in a row. Then again, I'm sure 80% of the other rookies were also fatigued during the summer league, so I'm not too sure if that even counts. So you know what? Fuck that. Chet has no flaws and he is perfect. All right, well, based upon my highly in-depth research on Chet Holmgren, he is this month's White Boy of the Month, and he will become the greatest player of all time. Speaking of greatest player of all time, here's a video that I made about the GOAT debate. You should watch it. It's really good. Bye.